good day, everybody. Uh, this first video in our at least two part series is called Standing Out to Employers. And we're going to talk about making your CV visually appealing um, to potential employers because this is basically a paper version of you. So it is your chance to introduce yourself and who you are to an employer and give them a positive first impression. So the rule of thirds is something that you may have heard about before or Fibonacci sequence or um, brain fart. Uh, the Fibonacci sequence, rule of thirds, or the golden rule, sorry, or golden ratio. So those are all terms that pretty much mean the same thing. It's about creating something that is visually appealing. And the way the human brain works is it's looking for a certain flow to things. It looks for something to go from left to right, top to bottom. Um, but also kind of in this, like in two thirds placements kind of thing, or in thirds kind of deal. So I've set this up on this particular slide. If you look at it, the eye kind of flows in this like swirl here, if you will. Um, the first picture I've included is a picture to highlight why this is important. The person who clearly made this free water sign was not paying that much attention to this. Um, it doesn't really follow a rule of thirds, and we'll talk about what that means uh, here in a moment. It basically, the, see how this picture over here has the grid in it that is separated out into thirds columns wise, um, ho both horizontally and vertically. Okay. Um, and basically what it's saying is you want information in each one of those boxes, but you kind of want to make sure that you're focusing that information so that it's not just all over the place. Unfortunately for the free water sign, it really looks like W fart free water instead of free water, free water. Um, if they wanted to make this work a little bit better, I don't know what to tell them other than don't do that anymore. All right. So one of the main rules that I want you to think about while you're working on your CV and the rule of thirds is not just like where everything is placed on the page, but the rule of no more than three font styles and no more than three font sizes. All right. So even on this slide with two pictures, I only have three fonts, um, this font and this font and this font and um, two of these are all actually the same fonts. Okay. Um, let's take a look at an example. So we have Charlotte Mowington. Um, Char Charlotte turned this in. She has a few issues going on here. Uh, for example, a job title is kind of floating under her name. Um, there are a few things that are too long in here and so on. And um, her information over here is kind of spread out a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to look for is excess white space. If you pay attention, there's big chunks of white space at the top and over here in kind of the middle. And they're, they end up being this kind of blaring thing. It looks almost like you've forgotten something and you don't want it to look like you've forgotten something or that you didn't pay attention to details because they want to look for an employee that they think is going to be able to follow directions well and um, pay attention to details. So the next thing I'm going to tell you is to remember that rule of thirds. Okay. You want something in all three quadrants and you want all three quadrants to kind of be filled. So I've now quadrant this out and you can see there are quadrants here, like here and here, where there is almost nothing in it. Um, so you kind of want to avoid that. So let's take a look at a side by side um, between Charlotte's first resume and her quote print ready resume, if you will. All right. Pretty much all the same information is here, but you will see that her print ready is definitely much more visually appealing. Um, the photo here is a little bit larger and moved over so that it creates kind of a line. If you pay attention to this line here, also goes up to through the photo, almost like through the center. So it's showing that it's branching two parts of that two thirds rule. Um, and then her work experience is like spread out a little bit. Um, we took out languages because she only speaks English. So that's a given. We only want to give them information that's going to help them make a decision. We don't want to give them excess information. 
So she doesn't need to have down that she knows how to speak English because all of this is written in English. So that's the assumption. But if she were to speak like French or German or some other language, that may, especially with something that might be um, specialized like ASL or Mandarin, um, those are definitely things that she would want to put on there. So the next thing I did is I actually moved the education section down to the bottom um, because what I was doing was trying to replace that language with education to keep that line that is implied down here at the bottom and the line implied here at the top so that they lined up between what was in that blue field and what is in the white field here. All right. So skills then has a line here too, but you'll see there isn't a line over here in the white space. That is because this is an implied line. Um, I actually left blank space to visually give you the hint that a line could be there um, or that there is a break there. Um, and that break is actually being used to separate two different uh, job postings here for her work experience, all right? Um, the next thing that I did, because you saw that there was a lot of white space, in order to fill out that white space is I basically just went through and highlighted each one of these boxes um, to change the font size. So I'm going to show you how to do that by going ahead and hitting um, escape here so I can get out of presentation mode. I'm going to open up any one of the myriad of, let me just go back to the home page here. Uh, and we're going to look at just any one of these templates here. Um, so I'm going back here. I'm going to open up a CV template by typing in CV. I'm going to select CV up here. Um, and I'm just going to pick whichever one pops up first here. And we'll just go with the one that's pretty similar. And we're going to say customize this. All right. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize this very quickly. Let, let it all load. There we go. All right. So let's say that I want to make sure that all of these boxes on the side, all of the subtext underneath these headings is the same size after I'm done. Um, what you do is you click on one of the boxes and then you're going to hold down your shift button while you click on each one of the ones after it. So you'll see these are all 9.4 because they're all the same. As soon as I hit one that is no longer 9.4, it will disappear and turn into lines. So you see all of these so far are 9.4. I'm going to click on this one up here that I know is probably not. Oh, it doesn't like that. Hold on a second. Scroll down. Um, actually, let's just make this one a little bit smaller just so I can show you what it does. All right. So we're going to highlight that one and highlight the one above it. There we go. It's not cooperating with me, of course. There we go. Okay. All right, hit shift, and then there we go. So you can see um, they went to a double line. That means that they are not the same size. So I'm going to change that back to the 9.4. For most of you guys, because you're not going to have a whole lot of um, information over here um, to fill it out, uh, I would suggest you make this a readable font size, not larger than what's over here, um, but 11 to a 10 point is where you want to go. All right. Um, and make sure it's consistent. So you can also, I'm going to point this out to you guys. If you go to move something, you'll notice that these little dotted lines pop up for you. Those help you to see where it is lining up so that you can make sure your edges of things line up. Um, you can make sure things are centered properly uh, and so on. And if you feel like you're not seeing it well from here, you can also use this to kind of zoom in and out at the bottom. So if you have any further questions on how to make those edits to your CV and prepare it for printing, please let uh, your teachers know.